Rat Luna. What is Rat Luna and why has the W Luna price fallen? Aside from Luna and TerraUSD, Rat Luna has also been hit by the Terra collapse amid the sudden Luna crypto crash and push for a Luna recovery. Another cryptocurrency called Rat Luna, I'm pretty sure most people didn't even know it existed, has been hit hard. Built as one ERC20 token, built to track the value of Luna, the sudden crypto collapse has affected the value and pricing. Both Luna and Rat Luna are now trading below 0.01 USD. Let's take a quick look at what Rat Luna token is and how the sudden Terra collapse is affecting the price. What is Rad Luna? Rad Luna is an Ethereum token made to represent Luna on, Ethereum, on the Ethereum blockchain. It is a separate ERC20 token designed to track the value of Terra Luna. Rad Luna was further created to enable Luna holders to trade, hold, and participate in decentralized finance dApps on Ethereum. Users can also trade W Luna, which is the symbol, to Luna through a W Luna partner and vice versa. Wrapped crypto tokens are cryptocurrencies pegged to the value of another original crypto or assets like gold, stocks, shares, and real estate and put to work on the DeFi platforms. The original asset is wrapped into a digital vault and a newly minted token is created to transact on other platforms. Wrapped tokens allow non-native assets to be used on any blockchain, build bridges between networks and implement interoperability in the crypto space. To simplify, the concept of wrapped tokens can be further described as the tokenized form of another coin. Yeah, I know that sounds funny. Usually anchored to the value of the asset that it represents. These tokens can be redeemed or they, or how they like to call it, unwrapped by users at any time. The price of Rad Luna went down. As you can see here, and also based on the definition I just gave you, it is not surprised that the recent Luna collapse has also affected the price of W Luna, which at the time of this video is sitting at 0.000178 cents. Since Rad Luna is pegged to the value of Luna, its immediate price fall has also influenced the price of W Luna, which is down 99.9%. Rad Luna has an all time high of $119, which it reached on April 6, 2022, before the Terra ecosystem collapsed. Now let's move to the bad side of the news. With Luna delistings on exchanges such as Binance happening following the crash, Rap Luna had a similar fate. What you're seeing here is the Combase page, um, which actually doesn't support Luna, uh, but they did support, well, they're actually supporting, uh, as of the time of this video, W Luna. So they announced that they would pause Rap Luna trading from May 27th. Deposits and withdrawals will not be suspended, however. Terraform Lab CEO Do Kwon said that the team reached to Coinbase in regards to the Rap Luna delisting, but has not heard back. Coinbase previously announced that it would support Luna, but this Coinbase listing has now been cancelled, it seems. Now, let's jump to the conclusion. The impact of the crash of W Luna on crypto has been limited. Now, we talk about the Luna collapse. We all agree that the reason is that users primarily invested in the Terra network to receive the 19.5% APY, rather than using it for payments. Luna holders were not buying other crypto with it, nor were they using it to pay for physical or digital products. 25% of USD circulating supply was locked up in Anchor, simply earning yields. The channel of the impact on crypto has been Terra's rapid sell-off of Bitcoin reserves during their attempt to defend the peg. 
as Terra sold their Bitcoin reserve, the volume contributed downward pressure on Bitcoin that had been part of the slowdown in Bitcoin and Ether trading volumes that had been ongoing since December 2021. Now, the bottom line is that it was important for DeFi to have this experience. Going forward, we'll see more regulation, more high quality collateralization and continued innovation, as I see it. So to answer the question about the opportunity of W Luna, I would say that there is no such opportunity. The market is too volatile right now. It's very unpredictable. And I wouldn't invest myself in this cryptocurrency right now. But if you were already holding W Luna, well, you might have some chance. You might get some new coins after the fork in four more days. Just remember to move it to a decentralized wallet instead of having it in a centralized exchange. I've heard of some cases of people having their coins in exchange, but not getting the airdrops. Because on the eyes of the project, the exchange is the one holding the coins, not you. It's like a big, big wallet and you'll use the component of that wallet. So if you want to make sure that you get some airdrop, um, just move it to a decentralized wallet. And last, just as a friendly reminder, please diversify your portfolio and do not put all your money in only one protocol.